Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, guys. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while I, while I entertain you. And let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. My legs are kicking a bit as if I'm still running. They put, But they sputter out soon after being caught. Everything feels like putty, and I have no choice but to slump against Damien's chest. Not that I mind, of course. He's, bre he's breathing fairly hard, too, which calms my own breathing down, ironically enough. Safe to say, we took this morning run a little too seriously. You think it was a marathon, the way we were running. Diana was right. He's really rubbed off on me. Oof. Oof. I win. Ha. Huh. Good one. Not kidding. I got to my destination first. Huh? I reach up and squish his cheek fluff. I can feel his face flush a bit at that. You haven't made it to the benches yet. I never said those were my and but I never said those were my destination. Mine was just to get to you. I snicker. That'll teach him to pull a fast one on me. Literally. Damien huffs and grumbles. He knows when he's lost. You're so lame. There's undeniably some embarrassment in his voice. He's never been one to take a, take a loss easily. You're just lucky I went easy on you this time. On account of it being a while for you. Babe, I can run all the time. Just in the afternoon. Time for a victory lap! Damien cuts me off and giggles before he pan before he spins me around in his arms. Oh no, it's his signature move! Hey, come on, don't be a sore loser! He's not going fast, but my body is so fried I'm powerless to stop him. Gotta give the winner the attention he deserves! Our joint laughter breaks the morning calm and on this hilltop we found ourselves on. Damien's laughter lasts longer than mine. Who would have thought having a laughing fit while recovering from a workout would be so difficult? It took us about 15 minutes to recover from our impromptu victory lap. Damien announced that as the loser, he'd get us both some water. There was no way in hell I was going to turn that down. Here, it's warmer than the stuff we bottle that we brought along. Just drink it slowly. That's my line! Who's trying to become a doctor again? Oh yeah? Who's actually enjoying trying to become a doctor again? Damn, got me there. We clink, a, we clink our paper cones full of water, a classic park, a classic park commodity. How's that? How's that going, by the way? It's going. One of my professors is a complete tool, but most of the other professors make the program manageable. That's good. I was a bit worried. Dana told me you were having trouble adjusting for a while. Yeah, I can't deny it. It's hard to move with your hard to move from your passion, too. Well, something that isn't your passion. And you're sure you're okay with that? I've made my peace with it. I know my folks just want the best for me. They're not the only ones. You just let us know if you need anything, all right? Duly noted. Thanks, Day. I rub the top of his head out of appreciation. He almost instantly starts purring. Adorable. What about you? How's your last year of undergrad going? It's, uh, going. His purring stops and he looks down at the ground. I move my hand down to his back and begin rubbing in circles. What's going on? It's nothing serious. That's bullshit. Hey, now, you can't offer to help me without letting me know, le without letting me help you too. What's up? Damien shifts to lean forward. It's really not that serious. I'm just not doing as well as I need to in class. Sounds fairly serious, Damien. I know. Do you want me to come over so I can help you? You're already dealing with your master's courses, you and Diana. I don't want to distract either of you just because I'm, I'm bad at math. Well, math was no cakewalk for me either. I'm really not looking forward to doing any measurement training. And anyways, I wouldn't have offered to help you if I didn't want to. You can rely on me too, alright? Okay. Damien leans his furry form into me, and I give him some more reassuring rubs on his back. From what Diana's told me, he's always had issues with school. He even enrolled, like, he even enrolled later than most people from for university, and was only able to afford it due to a sports scholarship. We've had our fair share of all-nighters over the past couple years, even before we started dating. I'm willing to spend a month away just to make sure he keeps his scholarship. It's good music. Remember that Diana wanted to become a math teacher before grad school? You'd be doing her a favor by letting her teach you. And she used to tutor you when you were growing up? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to make it past Algebra 101 if, in high school if it wasn't for her. I leaned back on the bench, breathing in the refreshing, cool air. Actually, we met when we were in third grade. 
My scores were so bad halfway through the term that my teachers were already prepping me to be held back. I remember being so scared my stomach was in knots when I called my mom. I was definitely crying, and my teacher just shook her head. And she wasn't happy, of course, but she tried to calm me down. From what I've heard, she's never been the kind of mom to punish you when you're trying your best. She certainly had a way of seeing the whole picture. <laughs> when Dad got home, he tried to help me the best he could with my homework until Mom came home. He wasn't very good at math either, though. I think I got that from him. I shake my head, getting off topic. Anyway, I remember what happened after that call very well. It's one of my only vivid memories from back then. I had my face down on my desk with my arms around my head to block out the light, sniveling and crying. Then a heavy textbook slammed on my desk. Curse slam. Oh. I jumped up, trying to hide my crying. Hey, why are you crying so dang much? Well, I... I... Well, what? Spit it out already. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I haven't been doing very well lately, and... Do you need some help? Huh? Well... Have no fear, Diana is here. And that's how we got Wonder Woman to help him with his grades. Damien and I burst out laughing over my impression of her. She really was a nine-year-old superhero. Ever since then, she's had my back and vice versa. That's honestly so cheesy I might cry. Wouldn't blame you, she really was that kind of kid. She told me that she used to get picked on, too, and that she got in trouble for kicking someone's teeth out. To be fair, they were already rotting out of their skull from all the candy they stole from me. Damien snorts at that before pulling me under his arm for a side hug. Well, if you ever run into any more candy-stealing douchebags, you you just give me a ring and I'll be there ASAP. Aw, oh, come on, at least let me try to fight my own battles. I can handle myself. Can you? Hey, I'll have you know I've beaten Diana before. You mean the time she got her wisdom teeth out and despite the fact that she was hopped up on loopy gas, she still nearly kicked your ass? So, I was thinking of getting a double-shot espresso frappe from the cafe with extra whipped cream. I try to casually change the subject. My failure is obvious. Daring today, aren't we? Damien teases as he ruffles my hair. Normally, I'd tell him to stop, but it's already a mess, so I let it go. This time. You know, that's a good point. Since it's your treat, I should think of something extravagant. I'm not sure how extravagant you're going to get at that old joint. I guess we better head over there and find out. I sit up to stretch. My legs still feel a bit tight, but not enough to keep me from part two of our date. Damien takes my hand and we start our trek down the hill. Cuties. Bunch of cutie cuties. Oh, I'm so glad that I had my punch card filled out for your order. Guess you better think your, think your bets through a bit more carefully, hmm? I tease as I start to chip away at the mound of whipped cream on top of our concoction of sugar and caffeine. Apparently, good thing you offered to share, share with me, right? Sure did. As much as this looks yummy, there's no way I'd be able to finish it on my own. I pass a spoon over to Damien. We come here so much that they just that they just know to give me an extra spoon for the whipped cream at this point. Damien sits down next to me in our in our usual booth. The heating here is always busted, so it's actually kind of chilly. It's all oh, it's old. I think it's from the early two thousands. Damien found it. Damien found it on one of his runs a few years ago, and he's been coming ever since. And eventually, brought me along. It's one of my favorite places on Earth. Do you want me to get you some actual coffee? I know sweet stuff isn't your first choice. It's fine. I guess we can call it my just desserts. A groan and Damien snickers as he plants a straw in it to take his to take his first sip. Oh, one second. Okay. Ah, it's almost as sweet as you, babe. A groan louder. Stop! Now I'm the one who's feeling flushed. Damien can at least hide it with his ho hide it with his fluff. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with my love for my boyfriend plastered clearly on my face. The tragedy of it all. Duh, is someone feeling red in the face? Damien pulls me in again to pepper kisses on my cheek. You really are the Antichrist. And you're my favorite devotee. Damien! As usual, he knows just what to do to get me blushing and just how to take advantage of that. Not that I mind, of course. I give up on trying to fight back and give him, uh, and give him, and give into the booth side cuddle session. It's a bit awkward, but we've had plenty of practice. It usually ends with me just leaning against his shoulder as he keeps him, as he keeps me close. I can feel his heart beating. It's still a bit fast from our earlier workout. Wouldn't be surprised if I fell back asleep here. I'm that comfortable. The phone stirs me, but as it vibrates in, in Damien's backpack, I wonder who that could be. Damien rummages through his bag and passes me my phone. 
There's a new message from Diana, along with an attachment. Taking care of the cats is going great, but Xander keeps eating Michael's food. Please touch. Please teach your son some manners. The attachment is a picture of Diana holding up one of my cats, showing us the naughty boy. Oh, that's right. Your folks are out of town back home. Yeah, they thought of a quick vacation. Yeah, they thought of a quick vacation since I told them I'd stay on campus over break. You still didn't have to do that. But I wanted to, and that's that. This is just day one of our break together. Let's enjoy it the best we can, okay? Damien's trying to fight it, but his mouth curls into a bashful smile. Sounds like a plan, Sai. This time, it's me trying to bring Damien in for a side hug. He's a bit too heavy for me to pull, so he's gotten accustomed to playing along. I love you, Cyrus. I love you too, Damien. I nuzzle into his cheek fluff and his purring revs up once again. We sit in silence for a little while, enjoying this quiet morning together. Once we've had our fill of silence, we both wave to one of the waitresses. We decided we might as well share breakfast together while we're here. The sun's almost fully up at this point. It's a quarter past 8 a.m. We got ourselves another round of coffee to go, a bit with 90% less sugar. This is just for the caffeine. Hope you guys have a good holiday. Damien shouts to the employees as he leaves while I'm paying the tab. I usually give them a good tip. They always have been really good to Damien. Alright, thanks for the great mail. Y'all are one of the only places still open before getting, before getting up from the booth and waving goodbye as well. I love little coffee shops. The wonderful one I went to in Colorado. Let's see. The warmth of the morning sun is welcome. It's almost worth waking up before 6 a.m. Thanks for paying, Cy. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. You ready to head back? Yeah. I hold out my hand and he grabs it almost instantly. We take our time walking home. Uh, by the way, do you want some help moving in? I don't have much to bring. You sure it'd be okay? I don't think it's technically allowed, but most of the staff are gone for two weeks at least. If anyone asks, I'll just explain to them what's going on. It's annoying that the undergrad dorms don't stay open during break. It'll be good practice for down the road. Damien nearly chokes on his coffee. Babe, warn me next time. Well, expect the unexpected. It's not even that sudden anyways. We've been discussing this for a while now. I know, but it still feels so surreal. I know what you mean. I sigh happily, squeezing his paw a bit. When I drop you off, I can head back to scrounge some stuff up. When I meet me there at around 3 o'clock, the dorm should be locking up around 5 tonight. Yeah, it's a date. Aren't I lucky, getting two dates in one day. Cheers! We clink our paper cups together before taking another swig of caffeine juice. That'll give me time to get ready. I got some new outfits I want to try out this holiday. I don't know how you can wear that stuff. They look so tight. They kind of are, but it's less about the comfort and more about the fashion. Oh, speaking of... I get Damien to stop so I can sift through his backpack. After a minute of rummaging, I reveal my prize. A glasses case. I can't believe you still have those. I can. They're one of my most prized possessions. I proudly put on the pair of glasses. Damien got them for my birthday last year, and I have been wearing them ever since. I wish I could have gotten you something else. It was your first birthday after we got together, and they're not anything special. He's being a bit bashful, but I won't have any of it. You worked your butt off for them, Damien. That's why they mean so much to me. I use my middle finger to adjust them. Damien, they're, you're why they're special. They're way better than anything a designer brand could come up with. Come on, Sai, you're being overdramatic. His tail is swishing. He's always been anxious about gifts. Despite his reputation on the court, he has bouts of damaging self-consciousness. He blames his folks. I use these opportunities to build up his confidence like he did mine. You know, I got my hospital ID badge with these on. I should arrive when school starts back up. You did? His voice betrays a hint of doubt. Yes, sir, I did. I love them, just like I love you, Damien. Before he can even reply, I take his hand in mine and pull him closer so I can plant a kiss on his fluffy cheek. He bristles for a moment before relaxing. His voice is a bit shaky. Thanks, Iris. Sorry, I shouldn't get so emotional over stuff like this. You're allowed to feel whatever you want, Damien, okay? He nods, trying to put on a brave face. Okay. We walk in silence for a bit, besides the occasional sip from our coffees. I want to give Damien some time to collect himself. I try to act natural by looking at the buildings tr the buildings tr the bu try to I try to act natural by looking at the buildings trail around us, so he doesn't know I see him wiping his face. Once he takes a deep breath, he stares back up. So, uh, your parents were really fine with you staying on campus? Yeah, they're cool about it. I told them it was for a few reasons and they didn't bat an eye. What were the reasons? Well, I'm holding one of their paws right now. 
I give him, I give his paw a squeeze, but that, and that bashful smile comes out again. Heh, <laughs> you're so corny. What else, though? It might be one of my last winters here on campus. I wanted to see the city when it was nice and quiet. It's almost like a completely different town when the students are gone. We start making our way through the maze of crosswalks to get to our favorite bridge. It is nice, but it does kind of suck that most of the best places close down. I guess so. But that just means we could find some more hidden gems, like the cafe. Very true. Maybe we could even find some antique shops. One of my friends back in Vermont could take me would, would take me along when we got the chance. Uh, found some interesting things, to say the least. You're such an old man. Maybe we can find a candy store to get you some hard candies. <laughs> oh my god. Come now, respect your elders. Besides, you know I have a sweet tooth, so I'd gladly accept them. You make a great case for yourself, old-timer. Hmm. I ruffled Damien's fur again. He's giggling all the while. Whippersnapper. Oh, hey, looky. Hmm? Damien stops dead in his tracks and points at, and points at where I look. Ooh. Is it a beautiful, gorgeous sunset? At this point, the sun is well above the horizon, illuminating the wintry Arizona morning. Wow. Pretty, right? Sure is. I wonder how it looked covered in snow. Good luck with that. I would probably melt the second it landed. Who knows? Maybe one day. I'd love to share. I'd love to share a nice snowy night with a certain tiger. Hmm. <laughs> I'd love to be said tiger. I would too. We spend a decent amount of time admiring the scenery, sipping the rest of our coffee while we hold each other close. Yeah, staying on campus was a good call. The campus is uncharacteristically quiet. There's not even a single red solo cup on the ground. As much as I loved our morning together, I desperately need that shower. Day means walking me back home. Quite an eventful morning we had together. Do you want me to pick you up? Usually I'd say no, since it's a nice walk through campus, but after our marathon, I think that'd be best. Sounds good. This is going to be fun. A whole two weeks together. Shh, we still got to keep it on the down low. Someone might hear. Let them hear. I want everyone to know. I cut him off by clap by clamping my palm over his snout. No, bad kitty. He just starts purring as if nothing's happened. Sigh. I love this goober. We're almost home. This would be usually this would usually be usually where we'd say goodbye for a while, but not this time. This time I'll actually be it'll actually be see you later. Hey, Cyrus. Hey, Cyrus. Hmm. I love you and. Oh. He's starting to say something else, but it's hard to make out what it is. Everything goes dark for a moment, until I'm met with... Oh, God. Human, are you deaf? Wake the f... Let me... Ah, oh, yeah, his voice was a little softer. Human, are you deaf? Wake the fuck up already! <sighs> Cooper's voice. He sounds worried for some reason. As I wake up, I feel as if I've been hit with a defibrillator. I jolt up, headbutting Cooper right in his snout, causing him to stumble backward. He's yelling in pain, which only was which is only making it harder for me to get a grip on what's happening. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Love the cute episode between these two. They're so god. They're such a cute couple. Ah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.